Uh, I'm Phil Tavares. I'm the police chief here in Marshfield. Marshfield is my home. Right now we're in Green Harbor, a place that's very special to me because this is where I grew up as a child. I originally grew up in North Quincy, but we always had a second home here in Green Harbor. From the time I was born in 1969 uh, until now, I've been here every year. Initially, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do growing up. And uh, starting around uh, the age of 18 um, and 19, I had a series of uh, negative interactions with law enforcement um, that really you know, painted them in, in the bad light in my mind. And uh, I could have chose to uh, kept that impression of them um, but instead, um, you know, life gives you choices. I decided to take uh, the other road uh, to become part of law enforcement and to try to make a difference. When I was uh, 18, I met a wonderful person, uh, Bill Sullivan, who was the police chief at the time. I told him I was interested in uh, becoming a police officer. And um, he initially hired me in 1988 as the assistant animal control officer. I also uh, became an intern for him while I was in college. By 1990, I became uh, first assistant harbor master and then acting harbor master. In 1994, I became a, a part-time police officer. In 1995, I became a full-time police officer. In 1999, I became the sergeant of uh, the midnight to eight shift. By 2002, I was the administrative lieutenant. In 2008, I became the captain of the police department. And in 2012, I became the police chief in Marshville. You know, uh, I can't think of a better community uh, to be the police chief in or a resident in. Uh, I enjoy living here. I enjoy working here. And uh, I'm just, it's, it's such an honor to be in such a wonderful community filled with uh, such great people. I, it's, I'm in the perfect spot. I never want to go anyplace else. And uh, a dream really came true for me. So uh, in 2007, I went to the FBI National Academy in Quantico, Virginia. And I was down there for three months. I met a lot of interesting people. I became friends uh, with a, uh, an FBI agent who uh, had uh, recently retired, and he was a consultant for the movie The Town. Uh, ben Affleck hired him, and then he reached out to me to see if I would be interested in being an extra with special abilities. Ben Affleck wanted real police officers to play police officers, and he wanted real bad guys to play bad guys. So I went from a, an extra with special abilities to an acting position, and um, that enabled me to join SAG-AFTRA, the uh, TV and movie union. And uh, as a result of that, and with my background, um, I got called for probably uh, filmed another 13 movies. I played a role, I had a one-on-one -on -one with uh, Denzel Washington in The Equalizer 2, where I played a state trooper. So that was, uh, that was quite a day too, uh, having a one-on-one -on -one with a, an A-list actor. That was great. I absolutely love to fish. The name of the boat is Team T. Uh, my son named it because uh, primarily the only people that go out on it is my wife, my son and I, and we're Team Tavares. And uh, we love to do all kinds of fishing from tuna fishing to striped bass fishing, uh, cod fishing, haddock fishing, um, you know, anything to do with boating and fishing, uh, we love. And uh, that's what makes Marshfield such a great place to live because it's got beautiful beaches, it's got a beautiful harbor and it's got a beautiful river system, North and South River river system. So um, if you're a boater, Marshfield's the place to come. We absolutely love Marshfield for a number of different reasons. It's 30 minutes to Cape Cod, it's 30 minutes to Boston, it's on the coast with our beautiful beaches. It has an awesome school system. My wife uh, works uh, at the middle school. My son is a freshman at the high school. Um, you know, can't say enough about the school system. The, the restaurants are phenomenal. But the best part about Marshfield, what I've learned over the years, working here, living here, is that the people make this such a great place. You could take everything else away from it, but the people that are here, that support law enforcement, that support each other uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, that are involved in fundraising and helping each other when there's tragedies in town, uh, it's just absolutely phenomenal. The caliber of people here um, impresses me and, and led me, really, uh, to continue to live here and raise a family here. And I'm really proud of that and I'm proud of them.